Number seven, a 500 milliliter gas sample at STP, so we've just told you a volume, a temperature, and a pressure, is compressed to a volume of 300 milliliters. Right, so we have a V1, a T1, and a P1. Now we have a V2. And the temperature is increased to 35 degrees Celsius. Well, there's a T2. What is the new pressure of the gas in Pascals? New pressure, that's your P2. So I have all three terms. I have two iterations of each term. That is what's going to tell me to use the combined gas law here. So I'm going to rearrange it to solve for P2. That's going to look like this right here. P1 times V1 times T2 divided by T1 multiplied by V2. Now the only thing that I would suggest that you do is take this pressure right here, this standard temperature and pressure, one atmosphere, you guys know that, standard, standard pressure is one atmosphere, and represent it in Pascals right from the get-go. Why? Because the question is asking for P2, the new pressure, in pascals and so your answer is going to need to be in pascals eventually you might as well put your original pressure in there in pascals so when you crunch these numbers in your calculator what comes out is already a pascal value and so in order to do that you would use 101,325 pascals multiplied by 500 milliliters multiplied by 308 kelvins all divided by 273 kelvins multiplied by uh, 300 milliliters. That comes out to be 190,525 pascals. Now I need to round this to uh, three significant figures here because of this temperature, one, two, three significant figures. So I'm going to uh, pick this zero right here, the five right behind it. Oh, I should have round that up. Uh oh. So um, I can either write 191,000, right, with uh, with no with no decimal right here, because that would preserve my three significant figures, or you can convert it into scientific notation like I did right here. Now, 1.91, 1.90. I'm not going to mark you wrong for one or the other. Um, but I, I do want you to have the correct number of significant figures. And if you do turn this into scientific notation, you, you would have to move this decimal five places. So it ends up being 1.90 times 10 to the fifth Pascals.